It's a bittersweet day in Denver. The Solar Decathlon 2017 competition is over, and now the teams are tasked with packing their houses up and shipping them to their final destinations. However, some houses are staying in Denver. I'm Linda Silverman, director of the Solar Decathlon, and this is your Taily Minute. The competition ends today, and I couldn't be prouder of the teams and this experience. So, the teams will be packing up their houses and sending them to their final destinations. And where will they go? So we have actually sold our home uh, to the city of Denver. The city of Denver was very interested in buying all the houses because they saw how much potential all the houses had, and they wanted to use them to showcase new technologies, all the innovation, just to showcase what you can do with sustainability. Our school was looking at the offers and talking with them, and they decided that it would be amazing to have our house showcased. I think we're going to end up selling the house to the city of Denver. Um, it's still in the works right now, but if it does go to them, I believe that they're going to donate it to the Habitat for Humanity. And hopefully a real family will eventually live here one day. That's what we're hoping for. It's so exciting to know that the journey for the teams doesn't end here after the competition. Their houses and their message will continue to live on and inspire the next generation of competitors. We hope it will be the, the next generation that takes over the, the project. We will continue elaborating the next ideas of and concept of how to make a more sustainable future. Again, this has truly been an amazing experience for me, the organizers, the students, and the universities involved. I'm really looking forward to the next Solar Decathlons, which will take place in China, Middle East, Latin America, Europe, and Africa. For more information and to follow all the Solar Decathlons, happening around the world, log on to solardecathlon.gov.